<laughs> Hi, welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace and today we're going to be talking about the Global CB7 Auto Guide by VX. So as always, big shout out to Big Homie VX because Big Homie VX has put together these auto comps and I wanted to talk about them today because as always, there are a whole bunch of disclaimers, there are a whole bunch of caveats and there are a whole bunch of requirements for like replacements. And generally speaking, if you're an auto gang, you're probably going to be like missing a couple of the requirements. And so yeah, let's talk about this. However, VX has asked me to ask you guys that if you guys are going to end up running these comps, could you please go ahead and send VX, so VX hashtag 0726, could you send him like your final damage when you actually go ahead and do it? And so guys, if this video has helped you or if this guide has helped you, please consider like taking a screenshot of your final damage and sliding into his DMs. And on top of that, to really show your appreciation, could you also please send him a picture of your penis? And so with that being said, let's start off with some disclaimers because this is really freaking important and it's like, well, it really affects like how we're going to approach each of these comps and so the first one all of these comps are researched from cn server we already know this so we've got like ue earlier so i'm talking about the ray if you guys remember from the last cb video they have kana and they also have the modified boss stats so if you guys again remember from the last cb video it was how like for some reason they had less magic defense i think Psygames games or whoever publisher they had they just wanted to foster a little bit more of like the magic comps but yeah that's kind of it so he's left off comps that include ue so for like ray yeah exactly and so because of this all of the given damage numbers are roughed estimates yeah you know what freaking we'll take it man <laughs> chances are these are probably like some of the most optimal auto comps like in the game right now and so la di da di da these teams are meant for players at near level cap and assumes your units are optimally geared yeah okay so this is a really really interesting one it's probably the most important one for me personally i think the philosophy of auto and like try harding they're kind of like two different ones for auto comps generally yes you want as much damage as you can on auto but like you also want a high level of stability and what i mean by that is that you don't really want it to be like RNG dependent <laughs> Ilya self crits <laughs> you also don't want any of your characters to ever fall like really really low HP <laughs> Ilya self crit <laughs> and so in my opinion like if you ever fall into like the low HP range that's not really like, exactly the stablest auto comp you really want like that really solid survivability that really high stability to make sure that it works very consistently like every single freaking time and so that's kind of the philosophy that I'm gonna have like as we go through each of these comps but yeah generally speaking if you're like near player caps I'm probably talking about like the 90s some people may be able to do it at the 80s but like generally like 90s to 100s and you're at the right ranks then you should be okay all right and so the last disclaimer is that he's actually going to keep updating this sheet so guys remember to keep this bad boy bookmarked and hopefully maybe he will come up with some cooler things but again big shout out to vx over here and so with that being said let's move on uh nope this is the boss stats so guys remember this is exactly as i said so they had like an increase in p defense and lowered m defense to like help promote the magic teams all right moving on to lap one so <laughs> oh baby that's what i'm talking about all right straight off the bat we see our t1s we are so familiar with this bad boy and yeah you guys should be able to run this order if you have a five star kauri and if you have the ranks for it so remember like your kauri has to be able to tank all of that damage and still be kind of stable with it right because if you guys do remember back to the other cb video we do want to do like a cockro tank swap up the front so she can actually like take more of the damage but yeah if we are going to auto this like your kauri needs to be really freaking tanky hopefully at 107 with full equips like 96 you should be fine and so same kind of goes for this one like generally speaking your makoto is going to survive three stars i think three stars and above should be okay and so moving on we've got these bad boys oh my god here we go we're going right into it over here cm video has kiaru ue spam ilya cancel self-harm to be safe Yes, I completely agree with this. If there is any comp that you do not want a full order, it is this comp right here. Any comp when you've got your Ilya 5 star tanking, you generally want to be cancelling her self harm just to be really, really safe. And what I mean by that is that if you do have her UB up and she's about to do like any of her attacks that hurts herself, which is pretty much all of them, then you pop that UB before the HP can be taken away from Ilya. On the other hand, we got the T1 again over here and we got a, ooh, this is a cool T1, except this bad boy does not feature Kari. Okay. So this means that your Makoto needs to be five stars probably. But generally speaking, I think you guys are starting to get like the first thing that I'm really trying to ingrain into you guys. And that is because like the front units are going to be taking the most damage, they have to be like the most juiced. However, on this boss, I believe he actually like hits the back line a little bit. And so like check, 
Check guys, check if these guys are able to survive. As always, and I bring this up every freaking CB video, like you've got like the same composition every freaking time. Generally speaking, you've got two defense downs and then you've got three DPS, right? Like defense down, defense down, DPS. Defense down, defense down, DPS. And so for you guys who can't get a hold of the five-star Kauris or the five-star Makotos or whatever, replace one of the DPS with a tank or a healer actually a healer could work so i'm talking like maybe maho or misato something like that right all right moving on we've got same same comps like it's always going to be the same guys t1 oh baby there's our t2 our jun comp so we've got the face tanking against the orc remember orc is going to really screw up your team so if you are not at max ranks if you are not at max levels you're probably going to default to something like this and again if you don't have jun it's probably going to be miyako for you but otherwise like very straightforward comps we've talked about like pretty much every single comp here we've got the defense down defense down dps all right and so with that being oh wait a second semi auto tl if anything this is cool because this is very true so this is actually a massive massive caveat arisa is like the one unit that you do not want to be like full autoing with the reason is that arisa's like animations especially for like her tp gain and all of that they take so freaking long to execute and so what that means is that if you cancel all of those animations so if you just pretty much spam click arisa throughout the entire fight you'll probably double your dps and so guys the moral of that story is that if you are using Arisa and you're not following a timeline, just freaking spam the hell out of her. All right, gang, what do we have next? So, mmm, interesting. We're finally going to see Summer Tamaki here. However, if you do not have Summer Tamaki, I think Tamaki is going to work. However, the weird thing about Summer Tamaki is that I've been hearing people say like, oh, you should be leaving her skill one at like level one. But <laughs> what if I, what if I already bricked it? <laughs> However, especially from a auto point of view, it does not even matter. Just freaking throw her in, okay? Because in a nutshell, Summer Tamaki and Tamaki, they are stealing TP. The boss is like not being able to UB as frequently as possible. And so all of this is helping you survive better okay and you guys know how i feel about survivability and stability for auto comps it's exactly what i want and so with that being said let's move on all right it is time for the frog guy and this is actually like really really standard comps and honestly looking through all of these we've pretty much gone through every single one except this one the only thing that's weird about this one is that it has two archers instead of a jun in front and to be honest you probably could get away with replacing one of the archers with jun or another tank if it really comes down to it but yeah otherwise that really is looking like your t2 you got a magic comp over here and it's it's telling you that you're going to be using magic comps for enrage hmm that's interesting however it's going to look really different when we come over to lap two all right guys it is time for lap two and as you can see over here we do require the cockroach swap for 47 to 46. i was a bit skeptical of the other one i just completely forgot that this was actually the a1 rather than the b1 and so guys just let me talk about this one real quick so again this is a1 so this is your lap one wyvern if your kari can't tank it and your cockroach is at about like three stars then you can do that same same cockroach tank swap at 47 to 46 but otherwise what it sounds like is that yeah we do actually need that cockroach tank swap anyway moving on so we are replacing cockroach with summer cockroach who is going to be actually providing the heals to the front line so that's really nice however it's like generally the same this is still like your team one because you've still got the mitsuki and like the makoto over here as well as the kari and so the difference between this comp up here and the one down here is that if you don't have the kari like strong enough to tank then you're going to have to use the eriko generally speaking your eriko is is going to be like weaker than your Kari and so you will see a decrease in damage if you use this comp over here. However, the other major difference for this comp is that you're going to be using the Makoto face tank and so you guys already know. So he's actually got the note Makoto 9-6 seems safest. All right, moving on. So we've got the magic comps over here again. Heck to the yeah. I don't think there's too much to be said about the magic comps over here and there's probably not too much to be said about this guy over here. I think generally speaking, we've covered like off all of the points that we want to talk about. Oh yeah, generally speaking, you want to cancel with like herself crits or her skills and other than that that's kind of it right and because like you've used up your t1 up here you're going to have to use your t2 down here generally speaking like not everybody is going to be able to use a magic comp because if i go through the rest of this i don't think yeah there's no more magic comps or there's no more places to sync your magic comps and we actually did see this in that last like cb video that i did show you guys and so yeah that's pretty much it for that one and so well this one's got a lot of these guys over here and this is really interesting because this is a triple defense down comp so you've got your jun you've got your makoto and you got your mitsuki what i'm trying to say is that if you run this comp it means that you can't run this comp and you can't run uh this comp as well and so if you run like any of these ones that feature all three of the defense downs you're gonna have to think of some ideas for like the other comps some of these ideas are comps like this however again you need the summer tamaki or you could use the tamaki or like some other comps like this where you do need like the tomo and so yeah before you actually go ahead and use these kinds of comps just 
know where you're gonna like build your other comps and like where you're gonna sync them as well. Looking through all of these other ones, like they're pretty straightforward as well, just using like the line of reasoning that we've been going through this entire video. But generally speaking, this is like a really great spreadsheet. It's got a whole bunch of different comps. It's got a whole bunch of like different options for everybody. And so yeah, I think that's kind of it for this video. This hopefully is a pretty short one because there's not too much to talk about here. I mean, it's freaking auto for God's sake. I don't even know how I talked like for so long, right? And so with that being said, there's clearly not much left to be said. And so let's start wrapping up this video. I've got a secret message for you guys and it's auto because this time we were graciously given a full spreadsheet of auto comps. And so let's pay our respects to the auto gods, okay? And so if you guys could drop that secret message down into the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you guys so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment. You already know what it is. If you do want to support the channel, we have a few different ways in the description. We've got like a membership thing as well as some affiliate links. But otherwise, as a spreadsheet once told me, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.